Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you how to make a savory pie shell. This pie shell is going to be great for pretty much anything you want, but especially great for tortillere and meat pies and everything else that doesn't require sugar. So we're going to start with a number of great ingredients and the key here is Frankie's all-purpose flour. And to really make your pastry work, you want cold butter. I've already sliced it up into cubes and I put it back in the fridge for a little bit just to keep it cold and that's what's going to make it really really good. So we're going to start by putting all of this into the mixer and the butter and the salt and I'm even going to put the vinegar in. And I want to mix this up until the butter becomes small little pea size shapes. It shouldn't take too long. So I've got my butter. It's all combined nicely in with my, my flour. It's really, really nice. So now I'm going to add my egg. and my two tablespoons of cold water. You'll notice there's ice cubes in here, and that's to make sure the water is really cold. It's important to keep your pastry nice and cold, and that's mostly so that the butter doesn't melt, because once it melts, it becomes a really gloopy mess. Look at this pastry, it's beautiful. It's all come together so nicely like it's just it's gorgeous and that's exactly what you want so I'm just gonna pull this apart and oh yeah that's beautiful So I'm just going to lightly dust the surface and I'm going to dust it again. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful looking pastry. So at this point, if your pastry is too wet and is too sticky, you're going to want to wrap it up in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for a couple hours just to let the butter set up again. But mine seems to be doing just fine. And I can get roughly two whole shells. So I got a base and a top per batch with this recipe. And that's it's wonderful. So I'm just cutting a little bit off of, of each. The nice thing about gluten-free is you can work this pastry and work it and work it and work it. And it's not going to get tough. It's so nice. Look at how beautiful that has rolled out so far. I think that's almost there. And I'm going to get my secret weapon out. I love this thing. It is just a putty knife, but I can then go underneath all around the edges and make sure nothing sticks. So now I just check for the size. It looks like it's going to be good. Set that down. Look at that. It just, it picked up so nicely. I bet you can do this too and you'll look like a pro. Now, Chef Donna at Bake to Frankie's taught me a trick. She's like, take another pie shell and put it on top and then cut it out. And look how quick that was. Look at that, perfect every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll a lid for this. And it's the same principle, it's lots of flour. And then we roll it out.
if you choose to cut out your lid, make sure you cut it out just a little bit bigger. And that's, you're gonna still be cutting stuff off, but I wanna make sure that if the pie comes up a little high, then I've got lots of room. Okay, so now I'm ready to fill my, my pie with whatever I want, sweet or savory. I'm gonna be filling this one with a chicken pot pie filling. If you're looking for the recipe for that, check the description below. See you in a moment. Look at that savory shell, it looks beautiful. And whatever you end up putting inside of it is gonna be wonderful. So I wonder what your favorite filling is for a savory pie shell. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.